I'm going to take a recess. If I come out and you still have you with a hat on, it'll be consent. That's all. All right. No. What are you prepared to? What are you prepared to do? When he comes back, he said. Yeah, that's right. Let's make mountains out of molehills. Jesus Christ, take the hell. Define dis define disrespect. Uh, that's what I was looking for. Was the definition of disrespect? Yeah. Now there are many people who consider it disrespectful not to wear a hat under such circumstances. Jews, for example, and Muslims are required to wear a hat in church. So this may be his way of showing respect, not disrespect. Who knows? Are you saying that some religions are right and other religions are wrong? And I'm so I have force threatened upon me if I were to wear a hat. Uh, I don't think we're told. This is very confusing. The ultimatum contempt is force. force. You gave me an ultimatum. That is That's force. That's force. I'm not physically willing to go anywhere with any. You're asking him to go to the articles of clothing. I'm not going to ask Sir, it wouldn't have been, been an yet. issue had you not been an issue. I mean, you right. misunderstood. It's the judge's authority when he comes back. If at that point he says he's in contempt, then, then you have the authority. Sir, it would not There's have been no an issue. Had you, had your choice is take the head off. I'm trying to be as nice as I can. I can't. Well, you're making threats. Really nice. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Right. I, who was I bothering up until you came up to me? Or you see the judge was watching. And I could see what he was. He was alive. Okay. Thank you. Thank Sir, you should take your hands off that man. Please stand up. He seemed peaceful. Why are you harming him? How long were you sitting here with the hat? I was sitting here for, I don't know, 20 minutes and not bothering anybody. You guys don't treat others as you would wish to. Right. I mean, that's, that's, that's true. It seems like my first stand up. I'm not going to assist in my arrest. I'm not, not I'm asking you to assist in it. Okay, you're asking me to stand. Give me the chair. This is. If you're just asking him, then why are you so forcing him? Please do not hear him. This is just over a hat? I've asked him to do something. He doesn't want to do it. He's violating his rights. 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 I don't see what the big deal is. Hey, sir, it was not an issue until you made it an issue. Deep behind you. What's the matter with you guys, huh? <laughs> you gotta turn around, Deep. I will. Yeah, I'm making it easier out there. Yeah. You could just leave people alone, you know? <laughs> What do you plan on doing? Okay, well, gonna do it's complicated. Thanks for protecting us from hat wearers. I was terrified. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see two violent people. Yeah. Okay. You ever considered honest employment? You ever considered like a real job, one where you don't use violence against people? Innocent. Perhaps. I hear well, Lord, desire. I mean, the, the <laughs> judge did not even define disrespect to the court. He said it's just disrespect to the court. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm sorry you guys feel you need to use violence against peaceful people. None have power in the You ever been chained up and put in a cage before? It's not really pleasant. What you're doing to that person? And that was just... It's a human being, you know. I think it was disrespectful that you guys aggressed against a peaceful person. Uh, uh, this officer was trying to push us out, but the judge uh, had said that we could film, so... He asked, he asked, he asked, he asked, he asked this disagreement, I, I understand. And he asked, you got to really find saying, out what's happening. Asking everyone. Right? So, if he's asking someone... You guys, you guys, I would hope that you would speak for your conscience at some point and say, this isn't right, right to put a man in a cage for wearing a hat. He's not hurting anybody. Think about it, please. Okay. You guys work for us. Okay, the cameras stay. See? Okay. Justice. Oh, that's <laughs> justice. Oh, thanks. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. So you're trying to push us out in violation of the judge's order, though.
court finds that, uh, based on the fact that you continue to uh, refuse to comply with the ballot directive of the court. I'm, I'm not refusing. I'm, I'm still in question as to why the court, the, uh, the, the, why this is happening or how. I, I don't understand. The court, the court is not going to go over any way to go that. I told you that there's a certain dignity, a certain, certain procedure. I don't need. understand that. You're in contempt, Hell, you're in contempt for the first instance. You're in contempt further for continuing to fight it. If you want to be in contempt even beyond that, be my guest. But, but I'm just warning you ahead of time that I, I, I offered you your chance to say your, your piece. It's my turn to talk now, and I'm giving you the sentence. I'm directing you not to stay in the world. The court sentence you to five days of the house of correction. That's just he's he's away Mr. from his family and friends and his colleagues for five days. days. Over. No, but I, I want to stay here and have a conversation with you, man. Could you please? It's not the forward, end of the day. So you're sure. responsible for your Keep actions. Going. Can you get out to the lobby? You initiated this aggression. Please. Five it's days time to leave. Two. Think about being away from your family and your job and your leisure Come time folks, for five time days. To leave. You spent eight days in jail. It's time to leave. I believe this is a public space. Yeah. yeah. Still waiting for some of that justice. It's the city building. <laughs> it's not justice, it's today? just us. It's two you, words. Uh, That's it. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're not going to leave. We're going to have a conversation with you guys. If you were in jail, in jail for five days, what would happen to your family? family. Well, you, you have to stand here and listen. Because you're going to have to stand here and watch your family. You guys can leave or just stand here and talk to yourselves. Well, we can stand here and have to try to get through here. So no one freaks out. I'm going into your office. All right. Do you feel threatened by having peaceful people around you? Is that why you wanted to come you guys want to stand out here? You have every right to. Okay. The only thing that we ask okay, is that you cannot prohibit you know, people from walking in. Okay. These people are hitting our friend from doing his job. Do what's right. You know what's right. Okay. Make a public statement. Okay. I, so and so done, initiated arrest today. In retrospect, I realize. This individual is peaceful and doesn't deserve to be in a cage for five days, let alone a second. He wasn't hurting anybody. It sounds like a much better uh, community to live in where we respect each other's rights as long as we're not initiating force. It sounds like a good community to live in where people think for themselves. They don't just blindly take orders or point to pieces of paper as giving them the legitimate, supposed legitimate right to use force against peaceful people. Is this going to be? Is this going to go down as your your most memorable and favorite day you've ever worked? Probably not, and for good reason. Because a peaceful man's in a cage today. How you doing? How you doing? I mean, we all know the system's not perfect, and it's not perfect because it has perverse incentives. There's no competition. There's no accountability. Instead of uh, listening to customers, and instead of listening to, to people, they just create more legislation and, and say more actions are, are crimes and illegal. That's, that's the kind of system you're working for, man. I mean, that's what happens, dude. You do something that you're not proud of and you run away and you hide. You can't have a conversation about it. Think about your actions. Please, please think about your actions. People's lives are at stake. There's ramifications for what's going on here today. It sets the stage for worse rights violations if you continue to just blindly follow dictates people give you.